Hello everybody, I am Jenma and welcome to Jenma Teaches. So for today's lesson, we will be talking about composition of functions. By the end of this lesson, you are expected to learn and gain more knowledge about composite functions to express a given function as the composition of two other functions and to demonstrate your understanding of composition of functions. So, let's start! You guys might be wondering, what is a composite function? A composite function is when one function is inside of another function. Given two functions f of x and g of x, the composite function denoted by f of g of x is defined by this equation. And the domain of f of g of x is the set of all numbers x in the domain of g of x such that g of x is the domain of f of x. Similarly, we also define g of f of x as this equation. In many cases, f of g of x is not the same as g of f of x. Let's look at why the order is so important. f of g of x is equal to f times g of x. Notice that the g function is inside of the f function. And g of f of x is equal to g times f of x. Notice that the f function is inside of the g function. Now, how do you find the composition of two functions? Let's move on to the steps on finding the composition of functions. Step number one, you write the composition in a different form. For example, the composition f of g of x needs to be rewritten as f times g of x. Step two, replace each occurrence of x found in the outside function with the inside function. For example, in the composition of f of g of x equals f times g of x, we need to replace each x found in f of x the outside function with g of x the inside function. And lastly, simplify the answer. So now, let's move on to a step-by-step -step solution that I will teach you guys so that you would understand how to find the composition of two functions more clearly. Let's answer these examples together. First example, f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 and g of x is equal to negative x squared plus 1. Find f of g of x. Now we rewrite the composition as f of g of x equal to f times g of x and then we replace x found in the outside function with the inside function. So replace x with g of x so 2 times negative x squared plus 1 plus 3 is equal to negative 2x squared plus 5. So that is the final answer. Now moving on to example number 2, f of x is equal to x squared plus 6 and g of x is equal to 2x minus 1, find g of f of x. So first we just need to write the composition as g of f of x equal to g times f of x. So we replace x found in the outside function with the inside function. So 2 times x squared plus 6 minus 1. And then... We just simplify the answer to 2x squared plus 12 minus 1, so the final answer would be 2x squared plus 11. Okay, so now it is your time to answer. I will give you three exercises. So exercise number one, answer this and feel free to pause this video so that you can answer more freely. Okay, are you done answering? So check your answers. Are your answers correct? Now let's move on to exercise number two. Again, you can pause the video so that you can answer more freely. Okay, so it's time to check your answers. Are your answers correct? Okay, so now we are down to our last exercise. Answer this and again, we can pause the video so that you can answer more freely. Okay, so time to check. Are answers correct? Okay, so now we are done with our lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you learned a lot from this video. See you next time. Bye!